Good morning and welcome to Children in Worship. We're delighted to be here with you this morning. This is a very special Sunday. It's the Sunday that we do the story of the lights, which is one of our favorites. But let's see if we can greet each other this morning. So let's make our C's for Christ. Christ is risen. He, he is, is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Okay, now let's see what we would like to sing today. And Margaret and I talked about this a little bit earlier, and we decided since we were working with light that maybe this little light of mine would be a wonderful song to sing this morning. So let's try that. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Okay, now let's see if we can prepare ourselves. We want to ask ourselves if we are ready to worship. And let's just relax our bodies. Let's close our eyes. Take a deep breath. And let's sing, Be Still and Know. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Once there was a man who said such amazing things and did such wonderful things that people asked him who he was. They didn't know who he was. And he said, I am the light. Let's enjoy the light. Many have come to the light to become one with the light. And if you will watch now, I will show you how you became one with the light. And today, if we have several children in the same family, we will use one candle for the family. Sophie. This is your light. Ava, Taylor, and Kellen, this is your light. Libby, this is your light.
Trent and Travis. This is your light. Look how our light is growing. And it all came from our light here. Allie, Lee and Lane, this is your light. Leanna, this is your light. Look how our light is growing. So many have been lit from our Christ light. But if we look at the light, it has not grown smaller, but it remains the same. Cassie, this is your light. Isla and Harper, this is your light. Trent Phillips, this is your light. Sophia Hatfield, this is your light, Sophia. Zachary. Zachary, this is your light. Look at all the light that has grown from our Christ light. And it was a time, too, when I became one with the light. Let's enjoy the light. There comes a time when the light is changed. And if you will watch, I will show you how my light is changed. The light that is in one time in one place is now in all times in all places. And now we will change each one of your lights.
There was even a time when the light was changed. The light that was in one time, in one place, can now be in all times, in all places. For our scripture today, I would like to read this as our closing prayer. It comes from Matthew. You are the light of the world. A city cannot be hidden when it is located on a hill. No one lights a lamp and puts it under a basket. Instead, everyone who lights a lamp, puts it on a lampstand. Then its light shines on everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine in front of people. Then they will see the good that you do, and they will praise your Father who is in heaven. And we thank God for bringing us this word today and bringing us the story of the lights. And I would wonder today, before we leave, what you are wondering about this story. I wonder today why this is Margaret and my favorite story. We have lots of favorites, but this is our very favorite. And we hope today that you will think about the light. God bless you, and we hope you have a wonderful week.